Hello from far north Queensland. I'm Elizabeth Varden and I'm very honoured to be amongst the finalists in the 2020 Leicester Prize. This short video comes to you from my studio in Cairns. Apart from wanting to know how long it takes me to complete a piece, probably one of the most common questions put to me is, have you always been an artist? I have been drawing for as long as I can remember. I'd pick up a pencil and try to draw something, anything. But to me, a simple pencil is really like a magic wand. You can wave it over a piece of paper and magic happens. That pencil can give you a range of tones from light to dark. Understanding how to use those tonal values is the most powerful thing in the toolkit of artists. From an outline of a circle on a flat sheet of paper, you can use that scale of tonal values from dark to light to shape and mold and coax the line drawing into something that has the illusion of a real form taking up space. You're creating the illusion of three dimensions on a two-dimensional surface. Eventually, the circle becomes a sphere that can seemingly pop from the page. That, to me, is truly magical. I have always been captivated by people and their stories and how I might be able to celebrate them through my painting and drawing. I take the knowledge that I have, and I'm a lifelong learner, and attempt to apply it to my portrayals of people. It's no secret that I love to paint eyes. You might see the eyes of my 2019 Leicester Prize portrait of Australian performer, Amy Shepherd peeking out from the Leicester Prize logos of this year, which was a lovely surprise for me. If you think about it, an eyeball is a sphere. You don't see all of it as it sits in the eye socket of the skull. Knowing where it is, being conscious of the underlying sphere under the eyelids helps inform how you work the shadows and highlights together with an understanding of other structural elements of the face, bones, muscle, skin. I try to follow contours, the hills and valleys, on my way to the realism that I aspire to. Living where I do, I also draw inspiration from colour and light. One hurdle for me as an artist has been overcoming what I call the tyranny of distance. Of course, there are cities which attract communities of artists and are a real hub for education and museums and art galleries. And shipping from Cairns is a whole other story. Luckily for me, I like to travel when I'm able to. And a good aspect of the internet is the ease with which you can connect with people from across the other side of Australia to all around the world. It's a cliche that eyes are the window to the soul, but to me, that is so true. And the lightest touch and the slightest change can alter the expression of the face you're working on. If you are lucky enough to be able to visit the 2020 Leicester Prize, please look out for my portrait Jaism. You can also follow me on Instagram at Elizabeth Barden Artist.